Hello again, Captain. We have an interesting metaphysical task ahead of us today. As I understand it, years ago, Osiris rescued the Saint unit we are familiar with from a Vex simulation. In doing so, he created a paradox. The Saint unit is alive with us now, but simultaneously dead within the Vex network. The databanks of that deceased Saint unit are filled with information. Information I believe I can use to locate the conductor. The thing is, Saint unit will have to download the memories of his other self. Experience years of suffering. His own death. It'll be kind of awful. And he hasn't really been in a good place lately. You know? But the conductor must be confronted. I'm sure Saint Unit will understand. Won't he? Guardian, Osiris, Ikora and I have made a plan. We can use what we know about the Veil and the Vexnet. The Veil? Why would you need to... We will go to my tomb, in the timeline where I died fighting the Vex. My true death. When you were taken from me? Yes. I can use the memories of that Saint-14. My memories. I remember when the Vex killed my crew. Those memories will haunt me forever. Fail safe. I mean, it's not so bad. Except for the horrors. Yes. Everything I learned, everything I did. I fought the Vex for many, many years. I remember. Ikora thinks we can use the data to find this conductor and secure the Echo. No. I, I won't. We can find another way. Failsafe. It must be done. So I will do it. Ikora told me I was once the Vex's greatest opponent. She said I should remind them. I... I need to think. Th this can't be the only path left to us. The Saint unit has already made up his mind. He needs you right now. You know he can't do it without you, right? seek access to his tomb. We are grave robbing. That is one way of putting it. 
The interim SATE unit is still VexNet. Their memory core is a back channel into the network. Saint must understand there are no lesser versions. Only expressive tessellations of what could be. And facing his death again is the cost of that revelation. Well, so be it. Nessus reshapes itself around this Vex fluid. Soon, we will hardly recognize it. The Infinite Forest was on Mercury. How do we reach it from here? The access here is somewhat like an archive, imprinted into the magnetic field of Nessus. The Vex used Nessus for defunct digital storage. They kept trying to plug me into it. And, wow, is exposing me to their connection protocols going to backfire? They should have predicted that. What did you mean about the data here being defunct? The Guardian pulled you from a point before your death to a point after it. To the Vex, that temporal event is a defunct anomaly now, non-existent within this timeline. So it is kept here, stored in Nessus's memory. The details that separate him and I, if they fade away, will I be his shadow? Or will he be mine? I can't answer that for you. You're you. Were you less you before today? I tore open time for you. Hmm. I suppose. You should be near the access point, Guardian. Locate a conflux. They will react to our attempt to breach the tomb. Yes, they're doing that now. There's no replacing you, Saint. Even the Vex recognize that. The Vex are very meticulous. But also weirdly sentimental. There. Wait. When I searched for you in the infinite forest, I saw this again and again. You, entombed, taken away from me, perhaps forever. When finally I found you, I thought I would never have to see it again. I am here, Osiris. You told me that I am real. 
So is he. <sighs> Do it. Remember the Vex. <laughs> but also how much I loved you in that timeline, too. against me. They hesitate. They are afraid of me. Oh. Then Geppetto is hurt. I try to protect her, but I am too late. I Pull a minotaur apart with my bare hands! But soon... I fall. The Vex approach. They are lifting me up. I lose my senses. I cannot... Feel my body. My Say. vision blinks in and out. But... Stop. Please. I, I am on this slab, but I have one final feeling a memory of us together. I am bringing you tea. I want you to take a sip. It is too hard, but you smile. That is my last thought. My phoenix. I am gone, but no, here I am, with both of you. I am Saint Fourteen. The conductor cannot hide from me anymore. Fail safe. I have the coordinate, Saint Unit. Good luck. Saint Unit, Captain, I have achieved coordinate lock. I'm rerouting the conductor's radiolaria flow to this location. So, hey, while redirecting the conductor to you, they were real in there. I pulled some other Vex along and you're surrounded. Uh, maybe we can reason with them? <laughs> yes, Guardian. Reason them with the big gun. I will protect Osiris until the way is clear. Captain, I am patching in cover. Eyes up.
connection. You have a clear path to the conductor. Excellent work, failsafe. Now it is us telling them what to do. <laughs> the conductor's signal approaches. Nessus groans under the yoke of its new cultivator. It's archetype. No, I am Maya Sandrash. But we have already met. Sandrash? So this is what happened to you after Neomona, after your experiments with the Veil. I know what you can do with the Echo of Command. I will not allow you to raise an army of Vex. I'm doing what I've been called to do. The Vex called to you. Humanity called to me. The collapse, the Black Fleet is finished. Now we can look back to what we've lost. Radio Laria is the means to this end. It represents the smallest unit of consciousness. A trillion formless minds, notes in a symphony of thought. Each one begging for direction, for a conductor. <gasps> Nurses will be converted. The radial area I command will be spread throughout the system. I will deliver us a golden age. And if you stand in the way of progress, I will break you down into more compliant elements. We are not your Vex. You will be. Get us out of here, now! listen to the Elixni storyteller? Maya Sandrash, risen from the Vax network. She has Lakshmi's face. Osiris tells me it must be a mask she feels comfortable wearing. Well, it did not comfort me. And today was already filled with ghosts of the past. Guardian, before I claim the memories of the other me, I was afraid. I was already filled with doubt, and I thought I might lose myself. But as his thoughts merged with mine, <laughs> it was as though I lived through his centuries of struggle. And my feelings, our feelings, were in perfect harmony. And suddenly, all questions the Conductor put in my mind were answered. It does not matter if I am the real saint or the true saint. Every me 
is me. So, when Maya tried to command me again, I used my truth to push her away. But she still forced me to my knees. She is growing stronger. We must return to stop her, but she has blocked our access. Failsafe is working on a way through, and when she finds it, I will be ready. The research on the Omuna's Vale facility is complete. As the report is uh, lengthy, I will summarize. Maya Sandarish and Chioma Essi were a married pair of researchers in the Golden Age. Their work often touched on the Vex. They found an object on Neptune that whispered to Maya in her own voice. That artifact, the Veil, is of the darkness, as the Traveler is of the light. Maya grew obsessed with it. Chioma grew afraid. In her compulsion to study the Veil, Maya took no heed of any risks or of Chioma's doubts. Humans under her command died. Exomines were wiped. Maya wanted a chorus that could channel the power of the Veil. And to control that chorus, she built an imprint of herself named Lakshmi. Soon afterwards, Maya entered the Vex network. She left no trace. Chioma exiled Lakshmi, shut down all Veil research, and redacted it from Neomuna's history. In a final act, Chioma entered the network herself. Other Mayas and Chiomas were already inside. Simulated hundreds of times by the Vex. It's possible that the Echo brought many Mayas together into the Conductor. Or perhaps only the first. There is no way to know which, if any, directed the Conductor's actions. But it would be folly to underestimate any Maya Sandresh. <laughs>